Hi and thanks for watching another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. This week's video is going to be a little tip on how to organize all your TIG torch parts. TIG torch parts are uh, collet bodies, collets, TIG cups, Teflon insulators, tungsten electrodes, and end caps. And I might even miss a few, but the problem is they come in different types, different sizes, and uh, generally people have a box of them. And uh, it takes a lot of going through them to figure out how to sort them out. Then you got TIG cups that come in all different lengths and sizes, like this specialty long cup for getting down inside holes or inside way uh, tight spots you couldn't otherwise reach. And you got things like this uh, number 12 cup that fits on a, a 9 or 25 style small torch. And other specialty cups like this uh, 15 16 bell cup for welding titanium and uh, other types of uh, uh, alloys that need to have a big shield of argon. One way of doing it is uh, using this product called a TIG Caddy. This one's taken quite a beating, but it's a thing with cutouts for using, for holding all different sizes of TIG cups and electrodes and accessories, and it's even got a TIG torch holder with it. It's got a magnetic base. You see, it, uh, anything with a magnetic base is going to gather a little metal fuzz, and so after a while you've got to blow that off with an air hose, but uh, these work pretty good. Uh, they, uh, I think they're around $35. So uh, they're they're pretty handy, but not everybody wants a magnetic base, and not everybody wants the chance of tripping over their TIG torch and uh, toppling the uh, the whole thing on the floor and then having to pick all that stuff up. But it's better than nothing. Much better than nothing. So. I found a little a little uh, trick that's worked pretty well for me, and uh, what that is is using a piece of uh, high density foam to hold the electrodes, and just to uh, stack all the TIG parts on them like a shish kebab. So all your commonly used setups, uh, a, a number seven gas lens, and then maybe a number five standard collet body, and then a, a lava nozzle with a different size electrode, and then a big oversized electrode. And different people do different types of work, so they're going to need different sizes of cups, and some are going to need a gas lens, and some aren't going to need a gas lens, but you know what you need. So you can just put your most commonly setups in the foam, sharpen the electrodes first, stab them down in the foam, and then line everything up, and then you kind of got a quick visual on uh, on everything you've got. Now you can go for a lot further than this. You can use short electrodes. You can organize your, you can get a bigger piece of foam and organize your different color type electrodes. You can put uh, your end caps on the end of the electrodes if you want to have a visual on how many of those you have and, and which kind. And uh, you can just pretty much line up everything that you would normally use on a day-to-day -day basis just by stabbing your electrode into the foam and then lining everything else up on it. You can get creative with this. You can you could uh, create a sheet metal base and where you could keep it on your workbench or, uh, or your work table. You could uh, this one here is, is uh, fastened to the top of the welding machine with a piece of two-sided tape and uh, it's, it's uh, pretty sturdy, not going anywhere. If you can't find a piece of high-density foam, it's kind of the same stuff as, uh, as those pool uh, noodles are made out of, the big long uh, toy floats that kids play with. So you could, you could get one of those, cut it in half, fasten it on a base, and uh, so, you know, it's just a tip. A lot of people have thought of this already. It's nothing earth shattering, but if you haven't, if you're just getting started, this is a really cheap way to uh, to organize your TIG welding electrodes, collets, collet bodies, cups, all that kind of stuff without just putting them in a drawer and uh, and then just having to ruffle through them every time you're you're looking for a different size. All right, thanks for watching WeldingTipsAndTricks.com.